Hello everyone and welcome to the Ballon Wonderworld quick look. I played this demo on the PS5 and ever since they showed it off at the previous Xbox press conference last year, I have been beyond elated to see what Yuji Naka and his team were cooking up and so far, I have expectations. To kick things off, the demo was surprisingly content packed. You're gonna easily get two hours at least worth of content as it includes the first four worlds of the game, I'm guessing, the first world of which containing two levels, and the rest of some cherry-picked worlds giving you one to try out to get a feel of the new costumes and, I guess, uh, environmental areas. While we're here talking about the world design and things like that, you gotta gush about the game's art style. It is just a gorgeous and very vibrant 60 FPS locked platformer that feels like it's ripped straight out of the Dreamcast and Saturn era. As a matter of fact, one of the level designs is, to me, a very direct reference to both Nights Into Dreams and a little bit of Sonic Extreme with its curving cylinder and camera angles that just again feel very reminiscent of that time period where things are just experimental and fun. The enemy design and dancing animals are really cute and look fantastic and it just makes me really feel like I'm transported right back to when I booted up my original Xbox or GameCube or whatever. You know, just a kid again. It's great stuff. Level design is as sound as ever. Tons of environmental puzzles that involve rolling giant boulders into holes, using the various animal costume transformations to move platforms or use a hover to reach higher spots. Sometimes it's just to attack mobs of enemies and break blocks, which could further unlock different parts of the world or help you grab collectibles. The core movement speed when you're not in costume or even for some costumes are is a little bit slow for my liking, I won't lie, but the various abilities that you gain through collecting these other uh, various animal costumes, I guess, enhance the experience quite a bit. Solving all the objectives to collect the trophies is just a blast. The game is clearly looking for replay value as bringing in certain costumes from previous areas into future areas or vice versa will help you clear unlockables and find secret areas that you couldn't access with the costumes that are set in certain levels and you kind of need to learn which ones you want to bring into each part and lets you experiment and all that jazz which is really really cool to me. My personal favorites were the pig that has a ground pound, the dragon that can breathe fire, and finally a acrobat bat that has a homing attack. All these costumes are just great, they all have their uses, and I'm super excited to see what the full game will hold in the future with the plethora of costumes that they're gonna have. I think they said there's like 50 plus or something crazy like that. It's gonna be insane. Now for some things that I found interesting. For starters, there seems to be this chow garden in the main hub world. These tiny little chicks will follow you, eat crystals that you collect throughout the levels, and I'm assuming they'll grow and get bigger or maybe spawn other levels or worlds or who knows what as time progresses when the game fully releases. If this is truly a modern day chow garden type of thing, I'm really looking forward to it as again, this is something all of us Sonic fans have been asking for, and they seem to like doing this sort of thing a lot in all of the Sonic Team kind of esque games when it comes to these experimental b grade platformers so here's hoping for that crossing fingers and all that jazz to get a next gen chow garden experience the music is also really standout truly whimsical very wholesome not much to say on the core level to level themes however the really absolutely insane just crazy ridiculous musical set pieces that play at the end of boss fights accompanied with a bombastic and just flamboyant dance makes me just just laugh it's really funny take a look at this Yeah, this game has a lot of charm and I'm really looking forward to all the stuff Ball on Wonderland has cooking for its eventual full release. That is all my thoughts on Ball on Wonder World's demo so far. I think this is a really sweet game. It's going to be an awesome B-grade platformer worthy of checking out. The only question now is, is it going to be worth paying full price? Like a full $60, especially when games like Go Take Your Strive are coming out for me. I'm going to be like no lifing that game. Or am I going to just wait eventually for its inevitable discount towards the holiday season this year? I think that's going to be the question on everyone's mind. Personally, as much as I do love it, I think I am just going to wait for it to go on sale and, you know, slide on the couple bucks that way just because of all the stuff coming out this year is just insane. But I am really really looking forward to it and i just want to put all my platformer fans on to let you guys know hey new sonic you know era b grade platformers on its way very gamecube-esque very dreamcast-esque and all that and it's going to be an exciting time 
Uh, those are all my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, comment down below your thoughts if maybe you played the demo and I just kind of want to see what you guys are talking about, see what you guys are saying. And if you liked it, leave a like and all that jazz. You guys get the gist. Hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.